Just listened to a lot of Nintendo news, Nintendo YouTubers, leaks and rumors over the past like five years. Like there were so many games that like I was so convinced would come to the Switch that when they didn't or whatever came in place of them was a lot more disappointing. I guess the imagination of like all of what could have came out was like heavily on my mind. That It's really just expectation management. What's up everybody? So Nintendo Switch, very successful system. It's doing really well, um, but we're obviously coming to the end of its life cycle. You know, the, I, I, have, I feel a multitude of feelings about this. It's really exciting to know that we are headed to, toward a new generation of consoles. Obviously, like when we set ourselves up for those expectations, they don't always get followed through. So I kind of wanted to go over the top five that I really wish came to the Switch in the time that we had the Switch. Um, maybe these can come later. I, I don't know. Some of these would not come later. But, th but these are some of the rumors and leaks that I really wish to this day panned out when it did. So unfortunately, that's not usually how it works. And uh, we, I feel like we have a good idea of everything that's going to be left for the Switch. And maybe you'll agree with me with some of these choices, but I don't know, let's dive in. So at number five, I would definitely say Mario Party Superstars DLC. I definitely think at the bare minimum, they could have added another board or two. I know the new Jamboree game is going to add old courses as well, but they should have added those new court, those old courses to the DLC for Superstars and then had GameCube boards in this new version, but they didn't do that. I, I mean, I guess maybe the game was selling so well they didn't have to do a bump like that. But like, still, I feel like out of the leaks and rumors that we heard about Mario Party DLC, like it was it was a pretty practical expectation. Like there, I had other expectations for like, you know, Mario Odyssey DLC, Mario Odyssey 2, but like, I get that that's not super realistic. And I think it's a lot more reasonable to expect Nintendo to add just a couple more boards, more modern boards to their Mario Party Superstars DLC. And then number four, um, I got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. See, they did such a good job on the Switch with uh, Pokemon Rescue Team GX, or DX, sorry. And I really feel like they deserved to have an original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon on this system. Time and time again, I swear, I was looking into all the rumors and I could have sworn it like got, you know, tossed around every now and then, but that just never ended up happening. You know, all these Pokemon Directs, all the Nintendo Directs, it just seemed like uh, they never really did anything. They never really did another Mystery Dungeon in general. I would love to see like Explorers of Time or Darkness or Sky on the system, but I don't want another remake. I definitely think they could have done another Mystery Dungeon. When I was looking back at my DS games the other day, I realized that, you know, there were some pretty crappy Mystery Dungeon games, um, but Super Mystery Dungeon for the 3DS actually took the Mystery Dungeon series back to its original roots and actually made the game longer and more enjoyable. So I feel like to bring Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon to the Switch with an all new title would have been super cool. But obviously that didn't end up happening. And there was no Pokemon Mystery Dungeon up until the end of the Switch's life cycle pretty much. I mean, I don't see why that would be announced now, especially with Pokemon Legends taking the next slot, but still wish this could have happened. Speaking of Pokemon Legends, um, I'm gonna give number three to Pokemon Legends Mew. See, it doesn't have to be this specific game, but I mean, Pokemon Legends in general, I really think they should have had a new game after two years. I mean, that's not really like that realistic. It could have been a DLC. It could have been like anything, but this was like something like I thought was going to happen. Like Z through A, like it wasn't expected. I'm still like not sure like what to, expect going into that game uh, but I do think that it was a little bit overdue and it's been a little too long and that 
you know, they should have had one. I'm, I like the idea of Pokemon Legends Mew and the artwork I created convinced me, but uh, you know, oh well. You know, sometimes it didn't happen in its own life cycle, and I'm really convinced it's gonna be coming out for the Nintendo Switch too. So I'm adding it to this list for that reason. Then this is a, actually a remake. SpongeBob Rehydrated did so well, I definitely think they should have made the SpongeBob SquarePants movie Rehydrated. Now I've heard people like say they've wanted this too, um, but I've I've always thought that the SpongeBob movie game was just as good as Battle for Bikini Bottom. I mean, there's a lot of technical issues, but how cool would it have been if like they took the same engine updates they added to Rehydrated and just crossed it over to the SpongeBob movie? Like I know those games were pretty close in ties, but you know I'm sure it's a licensing thing with the SpongeBob movie versus the TV show. But overall, I feel like that could have done so well for the SpongeBob movie. And of course, like the Krusty Krab 2 grand opening would have really made the title interesting because technically it is like a sequel. Yeah, I also put it super high up because I feel like this would not be a super hard port to make. I would buy it at full price, but I don't have the option. The mechanics in this game are like the funnest, the most fun to play out of any game I've even experienced. I mean, I'm super excited to see another SpongeBob game coming out soon, but I feel like you can give us a few new games, but then also a few ported old games that you could really keep this franchise going as a video game entity, and SpongeBob could live on even further. I mean, I'm sure they're trying to do that with the Patrick game, but you know, it could do better. Oh, and this is the one that to this day, I'm so sad never happened. The Super Mario Brothers movie game. Yeah, I was so convinced. Well, I mean, most of the Switch's life cycle was talking about the Nintendo's, uh, you know, the Mario Brothers movie and the rumors and just when it would come out. But this hurt because I, I could have sworn there's like no doubt they would have made a game alongside the movie. And I know Wonder was eventually the first one after the movie, but you guys, you had to do something with, you know, the art of the movie, the world of the movie. Like I just, this was such a missed opportunity and they were planning the movie for like six years. Like they could have got a head start on it. I'm not sure if it's because of Odyssey not getting DLC or maybe Bowser's Fury coming out. Maybe their attention was on other projects, but I definitely think it was reasonable to expect the Super Mario Brothers movie to have a game after it. Um, I guess maybe they were also worried that if it didn't live up to the expectations of the movie, then it would kind of be like a, you know, poison cross-platform thing. But I don't know, I, I stood by the fact that of course there was gonna be a movie and game tie-in, but now that the fact that there's not, I don't know, it just, I just, feel like it's such a missed opportunity. But yeah, those are my five Switch releases I definitely think should have happened. Rumors that I definitely think should have been true. You know, but you get what you get. And maybe one of these titles I'll see again in the future in a video game format. I doubt the Mario movie would have that treatment. Uh, but you know, it's never too late for the SpongeBob movie, for another Pokemon Legends, and I'm hoping Mystery Dungeon does come back eventually. Superstars, you will be missed. Thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe to Johnny2000.